Need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Is that someone coming towards us? Party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. What are you doing? Ah. You sure about this, Micah? Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp, back up the hill. Huddled around a fire, waiting for Daddy to put food on the table. I've said it before, we got... Too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. I earn my share. You think it's unreasonable to expect others to do the same? So, this house... You speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us. Look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders. You know me. I'm a good boy. All right. Yep. Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Hold. Easy. Okay. Let's head down there.
Let's hitch up here. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. On the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, some there's a body in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, but... Now, Fran, I ain't asking for much. Please. I am kind of desperate. Hey. I don't believe it. Look out, this poor bastard! upside down grab as many supplies as you can we need the essentials food medicine whiskey up here too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. This is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. 
If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Meet me out here when you're done. Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we need. Sure. here, near the lake. What are you <clears throat> bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. Please, please spare me. I promise you, you won't see me again. Pardon. Get the hell out of here. Go. Go, huh? Talk a little bit. 
bastard scurrying off. Yeah. Figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. He was my husband. 